welcome back to my channel so i'm going to do a quick video on these two new products it is the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation and primer it actually got released today today is august the 16th and i went to my nearest uh, NYX store. I tried this on in the store. This is the mattifying face primer. That's how it looks in the packaging. This was $16. And I was telling the young lady in there that I look at NYX as a drugstore to me, but now they're working their way up to like middle class <laughs> if you had different classes in the beauty world. So um, $16. That's, that's kind of like a lot when you're used to spending under ten dollars for products but at the same time it's like not so bad so when i tried this mattifying on my hand in the store it was like awesome and i don't really need to put mattifying like all over my face because i'm are like i don't really oil up on the sides of my face it's mainly like my t-zones so the young lady was like try it like only like in your t-zone area versus all over your face because the foundation or any foundation doesn't matter if i'm using this product today um to put it only in my t-zone when i put on any foundation because this is like my oil area the texture of it is tough however um like when you when you warm it up with your finger it's creamy but then it'll set in like really really matte only put it in that area i'm just gonna dab like a little bit milk of magnesia like on my cheeks now to the foundation this is mocha so i was the same color in the the drops but the drops however had like a more red undertone than this when i swatched it in the store this will be my first time using it on my face um when i was there i didn't want to swatch anything on my face now see this is kind of like orange a little bit and when I did the total drops it came out like orange but it was more redder than this this is between red and orange it was like more red undertone than what you're seeing right now attention to how my skin is I don't want to keep talking about my breakout but just the imperfections of my skin this is the coverage that you're gonna get from before I started so I um, don't let me see I'm not sure if it's it says it's full coverage I've seen a few people do videos on this you know like bigger YouTubers that already have like the demo videos out before this was released today. I saw how it dried on their skin, but it's a different feeling when you do it yourself in person. <laughs> so yeah, it dried really fast. Um, just gonna put a teeny bit more just on my problem areas. And it, it dries like powder like seriously it feels like powder when it dries I don't feel the need like I don't normally I feel icky a little bit and I feel like I have to dab with my sponge like to get the excess out like I don't feel like that right now Like that's how dry I know some of the videos that I watch people say if you have dry skin you might want to stay away from it I don't have dry skin and this feels awesome on my oily skin right now. Like it feels dry. I don't, being that my skin is so oily, I don't like to feel dewy or satiny. Like I want, I don't want my face to look dry, but I want to feel dry <laughs> because my skin is so oily. And this feels like powder on my skin right now, seriously. Seriously, on my oily combination skin, it feels perfect right now <laughs> like I don't feel like I need to add any extra powder or anything to set my face I'm actually gonna wear this out and I'm gonna see how it does it claims that you can wear it for 
24 hours, but I'm taking the wrong way, but I don't care what any foundation says. I don't think that you can wear any foundation for 24 hours. Like, it's just not gonna work before you start to see some imperfections. So, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna put a time limit on it. I'm just gonna go out and about and see, you know, how this does. I am back. As you guys can see, it has been, it is 8.45 right now, and I left the house to probably about, I would say like three. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So about five hours and 45 minutes. It's going on nine o'clock. Since I've had this foundation on, I use the Can't Stop, Won't Stop, mainly in my T-zone. And I used Milk of Magnesia like on my cheeks because I don't really get a lot of oil seeping on my cheeks and you know whatnot. But as you guys can see, look at my T-zone. Grease ball. I did dab. These are the only two tissues that I used. And as you can see, my main areas that I dabbed was my T zone. And this is what I got from my T zone during that five and a half hours. It says you can wear it for 24 hours, but as you can see, after five and a half hours, my cheeks and whatnot is good. But me, with oily skin, my T-zone is a hot mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and dab with this one. This one doesn't have as much on it. Um, so as you can see, I'm like my T-zone, it transfers. Um, I'm just trying to sign on my face. It doesn't transfer as much. And, and I did not set this foundation with anything. I did not feel the need to. Like that's how dry it felt. Initial application, right up in here, where you see that? The line of my nose and everything that's what just came off my nose I'm gonna go ahead and get this area and that's what I got sometimes it's so bad that I'm just like like pressing on my skin and I know I'm probably move, removing some of the foundation but that's how oily I get in that area when you blot it looks like it takes off a lot of foundation but realistically like you can see on camera how it looks even with blotting my t-zone and i did that three times in five and a half hours and just looking at myself right here my mirror it doesn't look like it removed a lot of the foundation i definitely like this foundation me personally i feel like this is normal to me with my whole t-zone area with any foundation no matter full coverage medium coverage if it's supposed to be matte whatever this is what i get with my oily skin but overall if you minus the oily t-zone i really do like the foundation as you guys can see not that much transfer came off like on my cheek areas unless i like rub my face but just like pressing not a lot of transfer at all if you watch this video thanks for watching i would like for you guys to definitely rate comment please subscribe hit the notification button all my links to all my social medias will be below but the link to my book will be below as well again thanks for watching you guys i love you and i'll talk to you guys later